Shelly. I could be 50 years old next week. 50? Cons don't be 50. Are you sure? I only five and you ain't that much older than me. You know this age ain't nothing but a number. But if I'm just so as I feel, I say I feel about 50. The shell getting heavy, you know. <coughs> he carrying around a little extra <coughs> weight these days. I mean, you you kind of look old and you 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 ugly for sure. But I don't think you're fitty. I, I'm not. I don't believe it. <laughs> and now you know. You just a youngin. <coughs> Cause I know. What you mean? Well, how <coughs> how do you know? Cause conk don't let it be fitty. You the oldest conk. Okay. You're about 10 years old, and you're about 12 or 13. What a crazy dream, right? Like, I guess it's probably because I was in Abaco, you know, Sandyport. I was doing this conch research project, and I guess talking so much about conch, I mean, got stuck in my head. Because that's all I'm dreaming about. Um, so you was up in Sandyport with all the... Conk research is on. Yeah, I'm just chilling, just measuring conk, doing all this type of research. Alright, so you can teach me how to measure conk now? Yeah, I can show you. Just a collection of conk signs. I'll tell you about which size corresponds with which age around this which is juvenile so that's the babies there yeah baby them uh. and when they this group is about one to two so one year to two year range and then when they get to three they start to look like this and these are what we call the rollers oh you always call them rollers because they, they could roll yeah you yeah. see them yeah all right when they get about to four and to five, they start to look like so. Now, I want you to tell me a difference between the adult and the rollers. See these ones? These ones got this lip right here. So, this one is, this one is behold, right? Yeah. yeah. That's so we call the lip, and it gets flared when they try, when they're adults. Alright, um, so all the big ones is. But there's the trick. You can tell the age of the conch by the thickness of the lip. So, sort of like asking somebody age them? No, no, no. You have to use something special, which is this. It's called a caliper. It's basically just a slide ruler. And we fit it onto the conch shell, just on the biggest node. Make sure it's on tight. And then all we do is just try to get it a reading. As you can see, it's just around 11 millimeters. So, since conks, after they get their flared lip at about five millimeters a year, this one about six or seven, I'd estimate his age to be. Ah, uh, so he didn't have a chance to have babies and then. Yeah, he had a chance to reproduce. Right. He had them babies. learned how to measure lip thickness of the shells and determine the age. Let's check out this pile over here and measure a few. Um, so where the pile come from? Well, actually this is a conch midden. This is where fishermen come to throw out empty conch shells. I thought I'd just bring you here so we could find a couple and take their measurements.
could tell the age of a kung pretty easy, right? Yeah, it's pretty easy, but how come so much of the kung in Nepal was young, though? Well, that's been going on for a little while. Fishermen start taking baby kongs, juveniles, just for the money, I guess. It's a sad thing, really. Yeah, that's really sad. Can I do it?